Hi everybody, um, I'm just sort of taking the unusual step of making a video really late at night. Um, it's around about quarter past nine this evening. I've just watched um, News Hub and seen Madame Fox's little interaction with Richard Prosser, which was um, really interesting and actually remarkably unfair. So, um, Ms Fox has uh, made a statement that New Zealand First is just dicking around with the parliamentary process and that's why the government because New Zealand First couldn't call off extended sitting this Friday. The government has uh, called off extended sitting this Friday. Just to be really, really clear, um, New Zealand First takes its role incredibly serious around every piece of legislation. We just don't rubber stamp pieces of legislation because other parties want us to. So um, we have concerns around at least two pieces um, of legislation that this government wanted to put through on Friday. Now, so we wanted to vote. We wanted to make sure that our voice was heard and to, um, to use our democratic right to represent the people that voted us here and express that those concerns through a vote. Now, it's, not, uh, it's unfortunate for Mr. Brownlee and Ms. Fox and others that they have tried to manipulate democracy to the point where they did not want a vote to be taken. Not sure why, because let's be clear, New Zealand First has 12 votes. My understanding is that all other parties support those pieces of legislation. They don't have the same concerns as us. That is their right. That is fine. We have 12 votes. So if Miss Fox is so upset that this government has called off extended hours because 12 votes out of 121 votes um, are going to have asked to be heard, then perhaps she should take that up with Jerry Brownlee, the leader of the House, and with the government that she sits at the table with, rather than actually having a go at opposition members who are trying to maintain an open and transparent democracy. And that's what I think Ms Fox should actually give some consideration to. Good night.